dependent on other people <coughs> because that's not that's not going to ever change for us. Exactly. That's, that's what we need you to do what for self. If you can't expect something from somebody that that, that don't believe in you anyway, mm -hmm. and always going to look at you as a second class citizen, or this wasn't made for you. It was made for us. So. We got what we wanted out of you guys with slavery and everything. Now, now it's abolished. You yeah, you can go back. You can go back now. <laughs> you, we don't need you anymore. Yeah, exactly. So, yep. you know, and, and they have a problem with that. They have a real problem with that. Now, unfortunately, we buy into a lot of that mm -hmm. uh, of, of self hate, but that's been taught in, into us. Hate yourself for a long time. Mm -hmm. You're you've been conditioned yep. to hate yourself and, and 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 hate what you you know. Hey, anything that you believe in. I mean, we all know we come from kings and queens. Mm -hmm. You know, we all, but they made us believe that we were nothing, mm -hmm. lower than dirt. That God cursed us through ham, which is not true. Exactly. Yep, you exactly. Know, it's, just, it, it's just a joke. Then but on he, top of that, the, the curse that was supposed to, supposed to be on him, it didn't even go through. It went to his son. Exactly. First of all, that's first. Then on top of that, it wasn't even the uh, curse of the skin. No, it wasn't. Because, exactly. you know, because like I said, all the people back then was dark skin, especially in the Old Testament. Yeah. In the Bible, you don't really see no Caucasians like that until you get to the New Testament, which but, is the Romans and the Greeks right. and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But you, if you look at the Bible, it never really talks about race. When it talks about race, mm -hmm. it talks about skin. To identify somebody, mm -hmm. and, and, and give a description. Give a description. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The Bible never says about race because mm -hmm. if you if, look, if you are a true Christian and you really believe the Bible, first of all, why would God create? He created man, not white man, not black man. Not a, so, but we can accept that, but certain people can't. Mm -hmm. That's why you have to take this black Jesus and make him blonde haired and blue eyed because mm -hmm. I just cannot worship. Somebody that's not like me. Mm. They're, yeah, they're not gonna worship somebody that they consider under them. Under exactly. them, exactly. That's what I'm saying. And yeah, know? that was the whole point of uh, putting us under because they wouldn't have been able to make us subject if they knew if we knew who what who he knows? looked like and who we were. So that was the whole point, you know. Is in I give you this God, I give you this what he looked like, and in a way that's making us worship them. You see what I'm saying? Exactly. Setting so, themselves up as God. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Themselves. You know, so you hear people say stuff like, well, they think they're God. Some of them do. Yeah. Some of them do. We're, we're next to But you know, the funny thing for me, personally, when I look at a lot of these people, when they get, if they get to that point where they're on their deathbed, they really, it's like, oh, I'm going to meet my maker. I better make amends. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember when uh, uh, Baker, the believe. one that got shot with Reagan, he was a, uh, 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 what was he? He was, uh, he was uh, some cabinet member. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he got shot in the head when Reagan got shot. Remember when Reagan? Yeah. I was young. No, Reagan I know what you're talking shot. about. I just seen him before when he was out he there was in the public with the gun, people. Gun advocate. Yeah. He was a staunch conservative, but when he got shot, that when he came up out that coma, his whole life changed. Mm. He was against guns. He was for black. Same thing with Governor Wallace when mm. he got shot down there. Remember, it was a uh, segregation now, segregation forever down there in Alabama. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Got close to his deathbed. I was wrong. Mm -hmm. I was wrong. Yeah, see, so I'm about to go be my maker. I'm gonna go, how am I going to go to the pearly gates and tell God? It's like, a, I don't like Casey, but he said something one day that really made sense because they were on him about, well, he's not a true conservative anymore. He said, what made me change? He says, as a Christian, how can I go to the pearly gates and tell faith? He said, what did you, what do you do to deserve to be in heaven? And I tell him, well, I was, I was fiscally conservative. Mm. He said, well, what did you do to help the poor? Yeah. Help the underprivileged? Yeah. He said, I started thinking about that. I was fiscally conservative. We sitting on hundreds of billions of trillions of dollars in this country, and we got people that don't even have running water. Mm -hmm. Kids are starving every day. Mm -hmm. He said, that ain't right. That's not a godly way to be. Exactly. But, you, but, but then if you notice when conservatives start talking like that, look, Colin Powell, who I met myself, they turned. You see how quickly he was their darling for a while, long as mm -hmm. he did their bidding. Exactly, but when, when he, he turned yes. on them and told them, "Wait a minute, what this ain't," mm -hmm. they turned on him like no tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, turned yeah. on him like no tomorrow. They was actually gonna tout him for president one day. Then he thought, "Look, this ain't right. Hold up, what y'all doing? Ain't nothing." Look, they turned on him quickly. Mm 
Exactly. So, you know, some people, they fall for it. I watched uh, Stacey Dash last night <laughs> on Fox. I'm like, are you kidding me? Yeah, I know. Are you kidding me? How can you even form your mouth to say some of the stuff that you see? Mm -hmm. You know, but hey, some people sell up, sell up. Mm -hmm. You know, with, some guys ask me about what. Well, well, there are black people that believe what I said. Look, there were some black people so brainwashed they rather have stayed in slavery. They mm -hmm. were slaves. They exactly. thought they had it made. Mm -hmm. so, <laughs> yeah, they'd be like, so much. Yeah, 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 and they love their master so much. Yeah, master, master, we sick. Yeah, master, we sick. What you mean, you know, we like, sick? <laughs> you, he take care of me. Put me, make you know. I don't have to do nothing but work. I got a nice little with the field hanging out there getting beat every day, working sun up to sundown. Mm -hmm. I tell people, you know, they laugh. You know, some of the guys. Uh, like, man, you, you look at slavery as if it was just something to be done. I said, because they always like to throw that in my face. Well, the Germans were slaves, the Romans, were, it wasn't the same kind of slavery. Exactly, no. yeah. It wasn't the same kind of slavery. Exactly. You had no chance of freedom. You were, you were owned, and your family was owned, selling your kids off, which broke up the black family in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. You know, taking a mother and raping her, you know, with leaving her with half-breed kids to take care of her. How you think that make a man feel knowing mm -hmm. you know, you can't do anything. You yeah. can't, you know, uh, uh, watching your kids get sold off, watching your wife get raped, watching your kids get beat, working from sub. Then to talk about lazy. I, uh, there's a book George Washington talked about. He set all his slaves free when he died. Nah, and his wife was so paranoid about that. She started, uh, uh, she, well, they said, he, he said in his will that, once she dies, they could all be free. Yeah. The three So she became very paranoid about it, thinking they were going to kill her for their freedom. <laughs> yeah. You know, and most people don't know that he wrote a lot of stuff in his memoir. But he also wrote about how 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 lazy his Negro slaves were. Some of them. And I thought about that, and I'm like, how can you call a slave lazy? Exactly. You're the lazy one. You right. got him working from sun up to sundown, no pay. Free, exactly. yes. Eating and scraps. for little food, yeah. Scraps, but they lazy. Exactly. Because they won't yeah. give you they all. Are you nuts? But that's just the mentality that they mm -hmm. that, that superiority mentality that they have. You know? And I'm thinking that that's crazy. Uh 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 we this is why we survivors. Uh what's his name? John Glenn. He was a senator then, but he was an astronaut. Uh one of the first guys on the moon, but he became a senator. And when we had the riots in uh the first riots in the sixties in uh in LA and then he was part of the war commission that did it and he said it's a testament to black people's will to survive that given what has been done to them in this country mm -hmm. that they are still here as a people. Exactly. Those civilizations have been wiped out because yeah. of things that were done to us but we still here exactly. thriving. He says I don't understand how they still here it's... given what if you look at what has happened to them throughout history when he was done with his investigation. And they pretty much want him out after he said that. You're not supposed to say that. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. You know, uh, Clinton was one of the first presidents to apologize for slavery. Why did it take the 20th century for them to apologize for slavery? Right. And then he got <laughs> vilified because of that. Mm. You're not supposed to say that. Ooh, that's just like this one senator. He ended up saying that black people was the aboriginals of the world. And he got backslandered so hard. Oh, he, I, yeah, he was a sen yeah, he was a senator. The people that want to that want to keep this 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 thing going, they will fight tooth and nail. Look, there's one thing I learned in history. I don't care what color people in power do not give up power easily. Exactly, yeah. they just no. give his power up. Exactly. And that way of life, they will die for it. Mm -hmm. They will destroy their own. They, they will <laughs> destroy there are some everybody. They will rather destroy this whole earth rather than see exactly. it. Us. Change yeah. us or anybody else take over, or them not be here mm -hmm. and everybody else down here. Absolutely, they will rather destroy it first. Exactly, you know. But but they'll claim because they're God. This is what God. No, that's what you want. Exactly, mm -hmm. because what you doing and what you he saying say doesn't line up with the, with the Bible. Exactly, with, yeah. with the with biblical teachings. You know. Yeah. This is why, like I said earlier, you know, people don't understand that during slavery. You had to have the master uh, in the in the balcony 
telling or, or, or uh, yeah. telling, that's telling right. we were talking about how that. to preach from the Bible. Yeah, that's where because, it started. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was a thing, uh, I know my grandma, you know, uh, being from the South, you know, and we still do it today. When you get up in a Baptist church to leave, they, they hold their finger up like <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I used to you wonder. Know where that came from? No, Slavery. I wouldn't. Really? Because they had to let the overseer know that they were going out. Mm. And he had to make sure they were coming back and not running away. Yeah. So they had to hold their finger up to let him know that they were going out. Mm. And see, it, 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 and that's another thing. I like when you say you uh, like history. We need to learn why we do things the way we do. Yeah, exactly. You know, one, of the, one of the funniest stories I ever heard was this guy was talking about. Uh, uh, he says, uh, his wife, no white guy, his wife, uh, I'm sure it's a story everybody heard. He said, on Sundays they have a roast. And his wife cuts the ends off the roast and puts it in the pan and throws the ends away. And he says, why? <laughs> yeah. She said, because that's the way my mother did it. Mm -hmm. So he watched his daughter do it at her house. Tradition. Why are you doing that? Because mom does it that way. So mm -hmm. he went to the grandmother. What? He said, uh, why do you cut the ends off the roast? She said, I don't do that anymore. She said, when I came over from the old country, our pan was too little to hold it, so I would cut the ends off. But they want, you know, we just do things mm -hmm. in real tradition. That tradition. Yeah. They don't know why we're doing it. Yeah. So all these years, they've been wasting a good piece of the roast yeah. just because they want, and we as black people tend to do that. Well, this mm -hmm. was, you know, this is what masters say. This mm -hmm. is, even today, some of us are still in slavery. Yeah. You know, 